Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a get ready with me. Um, I just felt really inspired to film a get ready with me and I don't know, I just love this whole look. This is just a fresh, um, glowy, bronzy makeup look, very minimal, easy to achieve and the curls are just really beachy and just perfect for the summer and my outfit I think is pretty cute too. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So to start off this look, I'm applying the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. And I'm just applying this where I have like serious pore problems. And I'm just kind of blending it in, just pushing it further into my skin. It's always good to have like a primer underneath your foundation just as like a barrier so that your foundation doesn't like give you blemishes. Next, I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match foundation in the shade W5. I did just apply some Loving Tan, so... Um, my body is a little bit darker than my face, so that's why I'm using a dark foundation. I'm almost out, so I need to repurchase. Then I'm also going to apply this foundation on my eyelids. Um, I used to like put concealer on my eyelids, but then my lids were lighter than my entire face, and I didn't really feel like I needed to highlight my eyelids just like underneath my eyes, so... Now I just kind of take the excess and just brush it over my eyelids. But I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm literally just going to do two dots on each eye. And lately I haven't been liking using a brush to blend out my concealer. I love using my fingers for concealer, so... Yeah, I've noticed when I blend out this Naked Skin Concealer with a brush, it like gives me wrinkles, which I don't even have wrinkles, but it just like goes into any little crease I have and just, it just looks bad. So this really gets the product into the skin and it looks so much more natural. And then the leftover on my finger, I'll just kind of wipe on my nose and then just like on the bridge here, just a highlight. So now for highlighter, I'm just taking my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. I have been loving this for summer. Like, it's just my favorite product this year. So I am just going to apply this on my cheekbones. It is so beaming. Like, look at that. It's so intense. I love it. Okay, so now I'm just baking with my Laura Mercier um, Loose Setting Powder just under my eyes. And then I'm taking the rest on my eyelids because I feel like my eyelids crease throughout the day if I don't set them. Even if I'm not wearing shadow, I just don't like that creased look. Not cute. And then I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is the best thing ever. It's the Omega bronzer. Um, I don't know. I just really love it. I love the color. It's not too orange, but it's not too um, red. It's just perfect for the summer. Okay, so now for the eyebrows, I'm just filling them in. I'm just using the Anastasia Brow Powder in the shade Soft Brown. I'm just using the darker side. And I literally just fill them in, nothing special. My brows are naturally super light, so that's why I like to fill them in with a darker powder. Um, just to like define them and, you know, darker brows are in. So now for eyeshadow, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Palette. I love this palette. It is so pigmented. Each color is actually pressed differently. So some of these need to be pressed down more and some pressed down less. Like Jaclyn Hill perfected this palette. So I knew I needed to get it because um, anything that she does is amazing. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to start by taking this shade. I have been using the shade so much like recently. It's just the perfect crease color for me. So I'm just kind of warming up the crease a little bit blends like a dream that was so effortless oh love it so today's look is kind of bronzy but simple so i don't want to do anything too crazy um i don't even know if i want to do a lid color like i honestly don't think i do because i want to keep this look really just natural looking so i think i'm just going to take the highlight shade right next to the shade i just used and i'm just going to highlight my inner corners this highlight shade is so intense I just love it. So then I'm taking that same shade and just highlighting my brow bone just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna just wipe off the baking powder. And then the leftover on the brush, I'm just kind of hitting the chin. 
my chin gets a little oily. I have like combination skin, so I don't like putting powder on my whole entire face. But towards the middle of the day, I will get like oily in the T-zone, so I gotta set that area. So now I'm just gonna take this Arrow Enhance Waterproof Eyeliner. It's just like a light pink for the waterline. And I'm just going to put that on the lower waterline just to open up my eyes. Okay, so now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. So I'm just going to use this MAC False Lashes Extreme, um, and I have a little sample. So I'm just going to use the sample, and I'm probably going to get the full size because this stuff is amazing. Look at that. It's crazy. Like, are you kidding me? I love this mascara so much. Okay, so now for the lips. I'm keeping it natural and fresh again. I'm just using a lip kind of oil. So this is the Josie Moran Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil. This stuff is so amazing. Um, so you just apply it with your finger. It's just a really pretty um, natural pink color. So... If your lips are feeling really dull or you have like no pigment in your lips, this is perfect. You just apply it and it's an oil and our skin and our bodies like intake oil better than water based products. I did start esthetician school so I learned about this the other day but if you like put water on your hand you're going to see beads because it doesn't absorb as quickly as if you put oil on your hands it's just going to absorb faster so that's why i love this stuff um, because it is an oil and i've never even heard of an oil um, lip balm before so i just really love this stuff and it smells amazing mm, and i just love the color so perfect for summer okay so that is the completed makeup look let's just get started with the hair so as you can see, oh, my hair is crazy. So I'm just brushing my hair out. I like to do this in layers. So as you can see, I just did half up, half down. And um, it's just easier because I have so much hair. So I just take about like one inch sections like this. And I basically wrap it around to the wand. And then I leave about an inch out. And I hold it for a couple seconds. layer all curled up all right, so now I'm just going to section my hair I'm just taking this side and then this side I am putting them back up <laughs> to shake out my hair I'm literally just gonna flip my head over once and flip it back and it should be good to go as you can see that literally just gave me so much volume you're gonna have to like adjust afterwards though because it gives a little too much volume um but yeah like that is the best trick or you can take the curls and just kind of shake them out like that like you'll never brush out your curls again okay so now I'm gonna show you my outfit for today Another one. Another one. We the best music. Wow, wow. 